Welcome to Silver Shares here today, Sunday. Hoping you are well. Have you ever thought of if you were to die in the next hour? Are you going to die with greatness inside you? Have you accomplished everything that you were born to do on this planet? Have you said I love you to those who have been by your side through your tears, your joy, your laughter? Have you said sorry to those you may have wronged? To this you may have been probably mean to or you know offended without knowing? And have you yourself perhaps forgiven? somebody who may have hurt you and that you may be still holding them inside you asking you whether you have done all these things and to think about if you were to die tomorrow or if you were to die the next hour i am just trying to call on you to live your best life calling on you to think and do things as though you're not going to be there tomorrow because if you think this way then you live like a a free life a life that you can say that you would be happy to meet your creator because it's the second part that is waiting for all of us judgment or peace or tranquility and i like to tell myself that every time i'm being kind every time i'm being good i'm investing for my future <laughs> heavenly space perhaps <laughs> it it may sound stupid but um I believe that if you lived an exemplary life, you know where you can just love others without having to judge others because if you think about it, nobody's perfect. Only Jesus was perfect. So, I don't think anything gives us any right to judge others. And so if we do not feel like I mean if we know that we are not perfect then would you agree with me that you can meet the other human being with much more love with much more tenderness that we try to be forgiving it's almost as if Jesus knew how difficult probably we could be with each other as human beings and the reason why he asked us all to forgive 70 times 7 you can imagine it's a hell lot of times that you have to forgive somebody i strongly believe it's because he knew he knew how difficult it can be but guess what if you can try to just live a life that is freer you forgiving one another loving one another being kind to one another doing all that just enables you to live in peace it would make life so much easier even for you imagine just being able to be at peace with your neighbors being able to celebrate moments together even as neighbors as people wouldn't it be like paradise <laughs> wouldn't it be amazing so how about trying it out how about giving it a try and see that we can actually all live in peace if we chose to if we decided to do this because i know it is possible because as they say nothing is impossible well 
I believe that if you want peace, if you want calm, and if you tell yourself that it could be your ticket to go to heaven, then why I would I wouldn't mind keeping to trying. And we have we do have a forgiving God. He's loving and his mercies are new every morning. He knows we are imperfect, but he loves us with our imperfections. He loves us even with our mistakes. And he would not mind taking us in every single time. And part of the other part of buying a ticket to heaven would be also just accepting Jesus Christ in your heart and asking that he forgives your sins and that you accept him in your heart. You just say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sins. I welcome you into my heart. Be my guide. And be my savior. And it's part of part of the ticket to literally go to heaven. It doesn't cost anything apart from just your heart and you learning to get to know who he is. This is part of what a, an amazing entrepreneur would be because you having an enriched life on this earth it is perfect it is excellent but imagine now having space saved for you (laughs) up above just because you were able to live an exemplary life a life that has been good and even insane that you were able to have a relationship with god that you chose moments when you were low, that you went to him, you seek his guidance and everything. I believe this is part of what will be paying for your ticket somehow in heaven. And I, I mean, nobody knows that if we have all our names written in the book of life, we can't tell that if you have a relationship with Jesus and that he, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you proclaim his name, that you proclaim him in your life, I strongly do believe that he gets your name written in the book of life and that you get a chance to say that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life that Jesus Christ is my savior, that Jesus Christ is my brother, is my friend, because this kind of relationship, it's all he desired and as he teaches, and if you can find a Bible that will be able to guide you, it's the only way. And if you have a good church with a good pastor who is truthfully following Christ and doing the works of Christ with their whole heart, then you will definitely find a solid ground to grow so that as you learn the word, that you get planted in the house of God. Personally, I listen to Joel Austin like every day, maybe in the distance, but it's how I also grow and nourish my spiritual life. So I believe that you can be able to save your ticket in heaven by just accepting him in your heart. If you do not like um, this information, it is up to you. Everybody has their own life. No judgments, no, no, no thinking of what will happen for you or for me because we don't know who's going to be there, who's not going to be there. All we can wish is that as by living the best, that our names are going to be written in the book of life. So I hope that for all who are listening to me, that you can leave me a comment. Let me know if 
Jesus is part of you. If he's part of your heart, don't forget to enjoy life, live, love, love, and learn.